Mox match early on was special. It was a special match. It was, and the crowd was into it. The crowd was hot the whole show. And I feel Let's like, uh, about it. yeah, for those, yeah, for sure. Um, dude, Moxley looks like a million bucks right now. And Ethan Page pushed him so hard tonight. It was, uh, these guys were just brutalizing each other. Um, I, I can't wait for an Ethan Page singles run. I really can't. Uh, this guy is so charismatic and, uh, his in-ring style is so just just mean. Uh, he's very just brutal guy. Um, and then Mox, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then Mox um, just comes back and looks looks great. Um, shook off the ring rust pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, looks just his body style is completely different than he when he left. Man, like you can tell. You know him him getting himself right uh, helped him physically, not just mentally. And right uh, in the ring. Uh, he looked like John Moxley, though, so that was awesome. You know, he's still himself, but maybe just a little bit better version of himself. And uh, we're all for that here. So just a great I was, match. I was really impressed with uh, – I was a little surprised that this went that far back and forth, you know. Yeah. The tear that Moxley left us on was so incredible and so brutal and so physical. I yeah. thought he was just going to – you know, like I texted you, I was like, RIP uh, Ethan Page. Um, and I'm glad yeah. it wasn't that way because yeah. Ethan Page is – is a star in and of itself. And so I don't, I didn't want him to get buried or essentially squashed by Mox, um, no. which would have been believable in its sense for sure, because of the tear Mox has been on, been going. You don't on want like to halt where his momentum is though. You don't want to halt right. Ethan Page momentum. Cause they're doing, and I don't stuff. think you halted, even though you took the L in no. this, I don't think you did because Ethan Page put up a hell of a fight and he, yeah. he took him to the limit and he had a lot of convincing parts of this match convincing parts that he could put out put down someone like moxley eventually um mm -hmm. and showed why he is all ego ethan page and a superstar in him um, in amongst himself and so i'm glad the way they booked this as well you know too. both guys back and forth it was a physical match for sure it's a john moxley style match but to me it was it wasn't as turned up as he has been in as the last time we saw him but, no. I mean, we saw him just choke him out. I mean, you know, Paige essentially didn't lose. He passed out. And so that's one of those protected finishes. And then um, afterwards, giving him the uh, another move, a finishing move at, after the bell, just kind of, you know, the stamp of approval, like get out of my ring, essentially. Yeah, dude. You know, so this was a good high spots from both guys, definitely. Uh, Which is surprising from Mox court. getting those yeah. high spots. Usually, yeah, usually it's he's on the offense most of the time. And – he was giving Paige a lot to to work with and mm -hmm. and and pushing Paige. So I don't know if Mox is kind of you know seeing the light a little bit more. Um, as you saw, you can see a little of emotion in his his walk and then we got in the ring uh, a different side that we haven't seen of him that we like. Um, yeah, you know, I think he's starting to. Uh, it, it'll be a cool new pay or two new chapter of him see how he he is starting to pan out now that he's back in aw clear mind and when he left the ring that was quite a quite a you know surprise that no one saw coming face to face with danielson himself uh clapping his way so yeah. next up obviously you know the hangman danielson stuff was just pure money and Moxley coming out and, you know, getting this match with Paige and and now no clear direction. But now all of a sudden Danielson greets him in the, you know, in the crowd. And oh, now yeah. we kind of have a teaser. Face I think we, we do have clear direction now, um, yes. which is awesome. Uh, after these Hangman matches, like you said, I mean, those were epics. Those were classics yeah. uh, that Danielson put on with Hangman and uh, different style with Mox. It's going to be. You're gonna be seeing those chop battles, man, that you love so much. Um, oh yeah, because chop, kick, I mean, chop, these guys kick. are just oh yeah, these guys are absolutely uh, just mean and brutal in their styles. Danielson can just do so many different styles, and Moxie's such a brawler. You know, I think that they're gonna have a very like it's almost like the Brian Danielson world tour of different styles of <laughs> wrestling right now. You know, um, now we're gonna get him versus Mox, and dude. I can't wait for that. That's going to be one of the most exciting matches of the year. And it's January mm -hmm. right now, man. Like, I know. What are, what's going to be the rest of the year? We're getting all these dream matches uh, already. <laughs> like, dude, yeah. Absolutely nuts. Uh, just absolute blast, dude. And, and Danielson, 
people are saying they want to make that beautiful white shirt red. And I think that's probably going to happen against a guy like Moxley. So it's um, a tough thing. Like, obviously I want that pure wrestling, pure storytelling between those guys. Yeah. But at, then at the same time, like Danielson taking two losses in a row, you know, that's one of those things. Like, I mean, yes, they're champions or ex champion losses. So, but I feel like that's a tough, I always think about it as that, like, yeah. you know, I want these people to wrestle, but at the same time, I'm looking at the big the picture. I'm like, you're, you're, you lost the hangman. Now you're losing to Mox. Now what do you, you take that? And then all of a sudden he, he gets even more pissed off having to regroup, trying to just fight, fight, fight more and more and more. Or are they going to do like kind of a, a trade wins type of thing? Like we've, we've seen in the past with uh, yeah. Daniels and stuff. So either way, I don't know. I'm cool with AEW television. <laughs> For sure. And and I get your point. I think that uh, we talked about this recently, you know, like we don't want Danielson and, and, and we talk about Moxley to be losing matches. You know, these guys are, are top, top notch. They're, they're at the very top of the card and yep. you can't lose too often, no matter how much name value you have as a performer, you know, you got to be careful. Um, yeah. You know, so that's why this one is kind of shocking, but also it's like, who cares? You know, you're right, like, you're right. also, also we get to see, you know, two of the greatest wrestlers on the planet right now go at it. Um, Fight just forever. because they don't exactly, Fight. we're going to yeah. hear those chants for sure. Give yes. them just a 60 minute time limit, just like those other ones. Just let them rip each other apart for an hour, man. And in typical Mox fashion, we'll probably get a, a street fight, no DQ, something like that. Something like and that. they're just going to just tear each other apart <laughs> as, in that as well. Yep.